Hello everybody, this is Zepho, and today I will be talking about the Firestarter. Yes, this is this neat, fast, smooth little mech. Now, this is the Firestarter review. We will be reviewing the uh, majority of the chassis today, as I did buy a Firestarter, start, uh, Firestarter Mastery Pack for this, and I did play around with it for a few weeks, uh, getting this review together and gathering footage. So, without further ado, let's get down to the actual review of the Mac. So, to start off, what is this mech? Well, the Firestarter is an Omni mech. It's a direct result of the Goodwill gesture by the Coventry Metalworks, according to the lore. The Firestarter is a 35 ton mech with the majority of its focus on energy based weapons, whether fighting in close or long ranges. Its primary configuration, or the original configuration of the Firestarter, was to carry a pair of large lasers that give it a uh, respectable cover at long range, at fire at long range, and had four flamers, two of which in the original build were mounted permanently on the chassis, meaning you couldn't remove those. But now the Firestarter is a completely different animal. In MechWarrior Online, the Firestarter has driven straight through its roots and turned into something else entirely. With these all with acquired. this heavy base on energy weapons, many people have gone to just uh, laser vomit. Now this is getting into my personal review and how I personally play the mech. This has absolutely nothing to do. This is really an opinion, not a suggestion, and not a uh, not a command. Now, you can play this mech as a long-range fighter, you can play this mech as a medium-range fighter, and you can play this mech as a close-range brawler. Now, the brawling with this mech is how I like to play it. I like to play with an all-small pulse laser loadout. The reason why is because it hurts, and it's really, really good for blowing components off of enemy mechs. I find myself more than and most often just ripping the legs off of any assault mech I come across by running circles around them and hitting their legs from behind. It gives me a lot of sea bills and dishes out a lot of damage, so I like it. Hunting down assaults with this mech though, I would not recommend for new pilots to this mech, as you do need to be ridiculously fast in order to circle assaults to the point where they can't really touch you. So, what's the starting speed of this mech? New well, the base acquired. speed when you pull it out of the box and not by the champion is 97.2 kph. Now, that's not that fast, but with the speed tweak it goes up to 106.7. Now, 106.7 and 97.2 are the same stock speeds for the Stormcrow, the Adder, and most other medium and light land mechs, aside from the Mistlinks and Hitbox. So, what is it that what is it that makes this mech unique in comparison to others? Well, it is the lightest mech. It is the lightest mech to wield up to eight energy hard points. That is eight energy hard points on the Firestarter 9A. The Firestarter 9A is an awesome mech. And if you do equip it right, you can change those eight small pulse lasers into eight medium pulse lasers while sacrificing armor and slots. So, overall, what do I think about this mech? Um, great mech. A really, really good, well-built, but at the same time, somewhat of an overpowered no and underpowered at the same time. Me and this mech have a hard relationship. Whereas, if I want to fill all the weapon systems, usually I can't equip something. I can't equip an AMS. And missiles do tear this mech apart really easily, as it is a 35 ton. The loadout that I'm running doesn't New have target much armor. Acquired. It doesn't have much armor because I like to run heat sinks and coherence with this. Now, does it overheat often? With small pulse lasers, no. With medium pulse lasers, no. With large pulse lasers, well, depending on whether you have the three that you can fit in it, that you can fit in it with, uh, with the max tonnage, um, yes, it will overheat. Now, this brawling mech, 
what is the best suggested loadout for it? Now this is a suggestion. The best loadout that I find is up to up to seven or eight small pulse lasers. Fuel and at with the variants that come with ballistic Fuel hard points, at zero I recommend small pulse lasers and uh, either a medium small pulse laser mix with two machine guns or a small small pulse laser mix with four machine guns for the hero. Acquired. So this mech in and of itself and in a nutshell is a really good brawling, running in circles, or poking at long range, or stabbing at medium range mech. This mech is designed as a defensible mech, however, as I do believe that it performs better and I do seem to get higher damage numbers when I'm feeding off an Target assault destroyed. mech, a friendly assault mech. So what this what this basically is, and my suggested playstyle, and my preferred playstyle, is to hang with your assaults, let them take the blows, and distract the enemy, whereas you can casually run in, run in semicircles behind the enemy, ripping their legs off. I would like to thank you all for watching. That is my mech review. As always, good luck, and have fun. Zeph out! Critical damage. Right arm critical.